Yo, I want to talk about all the differences between, um, you know, let me start over. So I want to talk about the differences between different types of vehicle coatings, what are their benefits, what makes them good, what makes them bad, and kind of doing more of a analysis on them rather than just using them and comparing them physically, just seeing kind of on paper and from my experience, like what actually works and what doesn't. I just want to start off and say that, you know, I've only used a ceramic coat and I have spray on ceramic coat or spray on wax. It's basically the same thing. I haven't used wax before. I haven't used um, some of these like graphene and diamond coats and things like that, but you're kind of hear why I haven't used them and why I just mostly stick to the ceramic coat. I'm just gonna start with the wax coat because that's the most basic and that's been around the longest. The wax coat is literally just wax. It's very easy to apply and easier to maintain than something like a ceramic coat. Well, I shouldn't say it's easier to maintain, but there's a lot more methods of maintaining it than there are for a ceramic coat. A wax will usually just come in a jar and you know you throw it on like some kind of pad and then you can buff it around really fast and it's really a quick procedure. It doesn't take too much knowledge or technical skill and that's why it's a good approach to starting if you're learning to polish and things like that. If you look at how long wax has been around, there's literally car washes with wax in them. You have spray on waxes. You have tons of different wax polishes. Those are just a few of them, but there's like a lot of different means of applying and maintaining waxes and it can be a fairly good option for someone if you really take care of your car well and you maintain that coating it can last you for a very long time like all coatings wax coating boasts basically that it has scratch protection helps against sun damage water repelling so it makes it a lot easier to clean your car when you come around i think that's pretty much it actually the reason the wax coating is being replaced it's not it's not really truly being replaced, but most of the time people get ceramic coatings now. And the reason wax is falling out is because it doesn't last nearly as long as something like a ceramic coat does because the wax doesn't actually bond to the paint and clear coat layer. It kind of just sits on top of it and acts like a shield, which is what all of these different protectants do. But if you go to wash your car, the wax might you know, deteriorate a lot more than when you compare it to something like a ceramic coating. So I've had this little kit for quite a while. You can see it says 2022 on it. I bought it last year in 23. So I'm not sure why they gave me one from 2022. Now I'm thinking about it. I guess I just never looked at it. Probably bought it like six months ago. In a wax coating, you can really imply it in any environment. It's like really simple. But with the ceramic coating, there's a lot of like precaution that you need and it's a lot more technical to actually apply. Let me just bust this thing open. I was gonna use this thing in maybe like a year or two. I don't know why I bought it so early. So it comes with things like an application pad and it's got like a little buffing pad. So this is the actual coating and it's enough for one car. I'm not pulling this out because otherwise I'll never be able to get it back in there. So you can see it comes with quite a few different tools for uh, you to use. The process for actually doing the same coat correctly is somewhat technical. So here, this is just what it says it, it gives you. It says it's resistant to solvents, so if you have like an acidic car wash. Salt resistant, so winter, UV protection, hydrophobic, protects against bird crap, and it protects against like scratches or they say abrasion. The reason people are kind of going from wax coatings to ceramic coatings is because the ceramic coats last a lot longer. They typically last from anywhere from two to five years depending on where you go to get your ceramic coat. I got mine from CarPro. They have the C-Quartz, which is a really popular ceramic coat. You know, let's see how long it says it's supposed to last on here. Uh. Really, really not a lot of information going on around here. Um, so yeah, just forget about it. This would probably be one that's like gonna be like a nice three year ceramic coating. Pretty much superior to wax in every single way. The only thing that is negative about ceramic coat is one, the maintenance for a ceramic coat. It's not quite the same as wax where you can just get a wax soap and just clean the wax with the wax soap, but you need usually like specific soaps that are formulated for cleaning ceramic coats, which means that if you go from a car that uses a wax coating to one that uses a ceramic coating, you might experience slightly different results in terms of how it performs. For example, I use the CarPro Reset and that basically just 
wipes everything off of the surface and doesn't leave anything behind. They usually recommend Carpro Reset for ceramic coats because the ceramic coat will be bonded to the paint. So even if you use car soap like Carpro Reset, it's not going to take off that ceramic coat. But if you do it with a wax, it could strip the wax pretty easily. That's one negative is that you, need, you usually are gonna want a soap that leaves a clear finish. Because uh, if you use like a soap with like a wax in it for a ceramic coat, it's going to gunk up the ceramic coat, which sounds weird, but it kind of reduces the performance of how the coating lasts. Like I had a wash and wax type soap for a while, and I noticed that, you know, the water beating wasn't as good after I'd washed my car because that wax in the soap would meld weirdly with the ceramic coat and cause it to cling out of the water more. That's just one thing you gotta watch out for if you do have a ceramic coat is that you need a soap that is more formulated for a ceramic coating. Another thing is that with the ceramic coat, uh, the actual process for applying it is insane compared to a wax. The wax, you don't necessarily need to polish the whole car, but for ceramic, if you want the best results, you're gonna have to polish the whole car and take your time, make sure it looks really good. You have to take this small applicator pad and gently wipe it over each area of the car it has to be level because if it's not level then it'll mess it up and if you do something's wrong it might be hazy or if you do it outside you can't do it outside in direct sunlight because then it'll mess up the coating and make it run or something but there's like a lot of different factors and things that you have to be careful of when doing a ceramic coat that you wouldn't normally have to worry about when doing a wax coating so if you want simplicity and application wax is still the way to go but you got to keep in mind you're going to be doing a lot more work over time to maintain and keep that wax coating up, even with you know things like that wax soap like I mentioned. I'm not really sure how touchy a ceramic coat is, but I haven't heard the best of things. The ceramic coat, long lifetime, really good properties, hard to apply. It's gonna be also more expensive. I don't know what it is for a price of a tub of wax, but I'll put that up. And then for the ceramic coat, this one specifically, the 30 milliliter, I think it was like $80 for this little kit. That's a lot of money, but you gotta realize that you know the wax you're applying maybe every year, Whereas the ceramic coat, you're applying once every three years. And it is a bit of a process to do this. If I wanted to do like a full car with a polish and a coating, it'd probably take me around six to eight hours, something like that. So a bit of a learning curve to it. And you'll notice really good results with it, just like with wax. In the middle between wax and ceramic coatings, we have something called spray on ceramic coating or spray on wax. They're basically the same thing. Basically, they're just like very temporary coatings that you can apply very easily to a car. They can last from anywhere from a couple of weeks to like two months. I would say two months is a little generous. I guess it just really depends if you take your car out very often and stuff like that. I have this PNS bead maker. This stuff is super easy to apply. Just spray it on, wipe it once, and there's like no haziness, no, no nothing. It's just a nice, easy to apply, and it works great. This stuff itself lasts like two weeks because it's like super easy to apply, but I know you can get some ones that are a little bit more difficult. Like I had this Meguiar's one that was kind of horrible. It was like the Meguiar's spray on ceramic something. I noticed every time I'd use it, I'd get like a hazy look in my windows. So probably was using it wrong, but I used the whole bottle with that issue. So I must've been using it really wrong. I haven't had any issues with this PNS one yet. So it's really, really quite nice. If you were to compare the spray on version to you know the wax and the ceramic coat. It's more of just like a maintaining that coat type of application. It's not necessarily like this is gonna be my only coat, but it's like you want it more for maintaining the coat and helping to keep it healthy. You don't have to use these super often. You're just kind of like re-spicing it up. So when you see those spray on ones, don't think it's the only thing you need. I mean, it will be the only thing you need if you're not doing your own like ceramic coating, but don't treat it like it's going to be just the only thing you need. Just That's just important to know. And the difference between the spray on ceramic and spray on wax, I don't think there really is a difference, but if I had to say there was a difference, it's most likely due to the fact that the spray on ceramic is probably meant more for a ceramic base coat, whereas the spray on wax is probably more meant for a wax base coat. Depending on maybe what type of coating you put on your car, whether it's the ceramic or the wax, maybe you choose your spray on maintaining uh, coat accordingly. Wow, that was really hard to get out for some reason. That's the main two I wanna talk about was the wax versus the ceramic coating. But you also have things like your diamond and graphene coating, and this is kind of where you started to get into that territory where it's like, I'm calling your bluff. Like, it's kind of just 
a bunch of BS. It's not really, but it kind of is, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so essentially, they're still ceramic coats, but they just have a, a name or a word before that's slightly different. The graphene one is fairly new and it's not sold by every single car product manufacturer yet. Like, I don't think CarPro has a ceramic co or graphene coating. And it's like, like, I'm not saying the coatings are bad. It's like almost you're trying to upsell a little bit of snake oil in there. So when you see like Adam selling this graphene coating that they say lasts for five years and it's 160 bucks for a kit, whereas this is, the ceramic is just 80. It seems like between this kit and the Adam's kit, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference in terms of how the coat actually performs and how long it lasts. The Adams one might be formulated to last a lot longer than the uh, C Quartz one I have here, but it's really hard for me to say that or anything like without doing it myself. I am spewing a little bit here. Hey guys, so while I'm editing this, I don't know where I got some of these numbers, but I just want to clarify a couple of things. So one, if we're doing a more accurate comparison that the graphene kit from Adams does come with a 60 milliliter bottle and the kit is $120, not 160. I'm not sure where I got 160 from. Maybe it was when I l was looking at the time of the recording, but it's only been, you know, a week since then. So it's not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it would have been that off. The other part is a more accurate pricing for the C quartz was $80. Um, even though the picture I had was the $60, their 30 milliliter kit. The 50 milliliter kit is around $80. Um, which is closer in comparison to the Adams graphene kit. So there still is a pretty significant price difference between the two. It's just not quite as drastic as I thought initially, or as I mentioned. Like just when I see those graphene or diamond coatings, it just reminds me of being at a dealership where they're trying to sell you the diamond car care packages and stuff. So, so just be wary of that. When you do see those kinds of buzzwords, most likely it's just a load of fluff. Most of the time you see those kinds of new innovative car coatings, they're there for a reason. It's it's to sell a new product. It's also to explore a new market, right? So you wanna try and make the best product. There's obviously some real work being put in there, but like at the end of the day, like it's basically gonna be the same as your standard ceramic coat. It just might require different maintenance instructions and they might try to sell their own products to maintain the coating as a result. You know, they even do that with ceramic coatings. That's just kind of how the car detailing market is it's just they got a lot of saturation a lot of people trying to make that new product that's just gonna be bought up like crazy it's like hard to trust a lot of those so i just go with what's really common in the industry and i know that a ceramic coat is very common graphene you don't see that often diamond you don't see that often so i i think of those as more of like just if they were really as great as they said they were compared to a ceramic coat then they, they would be sold everywhere and maybe it's the fact that it's a newer market or it's something that hasn't been explored yet or whatever but when i'm doing someone's car i don't want to have that risk that's just my opinion on him like i know the adams graphene one has a lot of great reviews people love it when it came down to it for me for choosing something like the c quartz versus the adams i was like you know i'd rather do c quartz because it's like it's also a very popular product and you can find pretty much a ceramic coating anywhere you go for any card brand similar to how they'll try and sell you a certain product to maintain the coating it's very similar to this scenario where i have this griot's garage stuff i was like looking into getting their glass sealant because it's actually a really good sealant when i bought this they were like if you're going to apply this it's going to be best applied if you use this polish before so i was like sure i'll get the polish and they both work really well i'm not saying that either i'm also not saying I don't know how to say this, but the products that they usually recommend to maintain or prepare the surface for the coating that you're going to apply, they're going to be good. But just know that, you know, it is a little bit of an upsell on, on their end. I'm sure this glass sealant would apply fine if I used just some normal glass cleaner or maybe even just washed my car and then used this. If I were to recommend what you should get, if you want to do your own coating and you're not really confident with the ceramic coat, you could always just go with wax and just make it really simple for yourself. Like a ton of people still use wax and it's great, but it's just something you're gonna have to maintain a little more. I definitely recommend getting some kind of spray coating to keep that coating looking fresh and performing well. Don't get too confused with all the different types of coatings. At the end of the day, it's got the same purpose in terms of what it's trying to protect, which is your car. So yeah, um, <laughs> later guys. <laughs> I love you guys.